Assalamu alaikum grade 5, how are you? Today we will learn a new idea about adding and subtracting fractions. In this video, inshallah, we will remember how to add and subtract two fractions with the same denominator. We will learn how to make two fractions with the same denominator and we will learn how to add and subtract two fractions with different denominators. But first, we will make a quick revision, adding and subtracting fractions with the same denominator. As we learned before that fraction is equal to numerator over denominator. Example 1. 3 over 7 plus 5 over 7. Here we have the same denominator, so we write 7. Then we add 3 plus 5, so we obtain 8 over 7. Example 2. We have 6 over 9 minus 2 over 9. We have here the same denominator 9, so we, we write here 9. Then we subtract 6 minus 2, so we obtain 4 over 9. It's your turn. Pause this video and calculate each fraction. These are the answers. Check your work. Now we will begin with a new idea. Make fractions with same denominators. How can we make two fractions with the same denominator? To understand where this idea, we will take an example. Example, rewrite the two fractions with the same denominator. Here we have 3 over 4 and here we have 5 over 6. How can we make these two fractions with the same denominator? Focus with me. We multiply the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction. So we multiply 3 over 4 by 6. We multiply here by 6 and here by 6. Then we multiply the second fraction by the denominator of the first fraction. So we multiply 4 by 5 and 6. So here we multiply by 4 and here we multiply by 4. So, we, we, we obtain here 24 and here 24. I will repeat. Focus with me. We multiply the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction. So, 6, we multiply it by 3 and 4. Then, we multiply the second fraction by the denominator of the first fraction. fraction. So, we multiply 4 by 5 and 6. Here we go. Here we have 3 over 4. We multiply it by the denominator of the second fraction. So times 6 times 6. We obtain 18 over 24. Then we multiply 5 over 6 by the denominator of the first fraction. So times 4 times 4. We obtain 20 over 20, 24. Here we go. We obtain here 24 and here 24 the same denominator. I will repeat. Focus with me. We multiply the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction. So we multiply the first fraction by 6. Then we multiply the second fraction by the denominator of the first fraction 4. So we multiply 3 over 4 by 6 and 3 over 4 by 5. Four, uh, and 5 over 6 by 4. So we obtain 24 and here 24. Deal? Remark. Can we multiply 3 over 7 by 4 and by 6? So we multiply the numerator by, by, by a number and we multiply the second, the denominator by another number? No. Can we multiply a fraction by the same number? Yes, we should multiply the fraction by the same number. Example 1. Rewrite the two fractions with the same denominator. Here we have 2 over 3 and here we have 4 over 5. Remember, we should multiply the first fraction 2 over 3 by the denominator of the second fraction 5. So we multiply 2 over 3 by 5, we obtain 10 over 15. And we multiply the second fraction 4 over 5 by the denominator of the first fraction, so times 3. We obtain 12 over 15. Here we go. We obtain the same denominator 15. Now it's your turn. Rewrite the two fractions with the same denominator. We have here 2 over 5 and 3 over 7. 
the countdown has started. Remember, we multiply the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction. Then, we multiply the second fraction by the denominator of the first fraction. Hurry up! Time's up! The solution is we multiply 2 over 5 by 7, so we obtain 14 over 35, then we multiply 3 over 7 by the denominator of the second fraction, so 5, we multiply 5 by 5, so we obtain 15 over 35, and we obtain the same denominator, 35. Deal? Now, we will begin with a new idea. Adding and subtracting fractions with different denominators. How can we add and subtract fractions with different denominator? Here we have 5 over 2 plus 2 over 3. Can we add the two numerators? So we obtain 7 and we add the two denominators. So we obtain 5. So we obtain 5 over 7. Or we add the two numerators so, so we obtain 7 and multiply the denominator so we obtain 5 over 6 or can we add 5 over 2 plus 2 over 3 so first step we make them with a same denominator then we add them these two answers are wrong the right way is here Let's follow these steps to know how to add and subtract fractions with different denominators. Focus with, with me. To add and subtract fractions with different denominators, first, we should change the two fractions to be with the same denominators. Then, we add or subtract the two fractions as we learned before. Example 1. Calculate 5 over 3 plus 2 over 4. First step, obtain a same denominator. Here we have 5 over 3, so we multiply 5 over 3 by the denominator of the, of the second fraction, so we obtain 20 over 12. Then, we multiply 2 over 4 by the de denominator of the first fraction, 3, so we obtain 6 over 12. So we obtain here the same denominator. Second step, we add the two fractions. Here we have 5 over 3 plus 2 over 4. Here we have 5 over 3 plus 2 over 4. Four, 5 over 3 will become 12 o, 20 over 12. And 2 over 4 will become 6 over 12. Then we have the same denominator. We, add, we write 12. Then we add 20 plus 6. So we obtain 26 over, over 12. Deal? Example 2. Calculate 4 over 2 minus 2 over 3. First step, obtain a same denominator. It's your turn. Try to obtain the same denominator. Remember, we should obtain the same denominator. Remember the steps. We multiply the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction. Then we multiply the second fraction by the denominator of the first fraction. Second step. We subtract the two fractions. Time is up. First fraction. Often. First step. Here we have 4 over 2. We multiply 4, 4 over 2 by 3. So we obtain 12 over 6. Then we multiply 2 over 3 by 2. So we obtain 4 over 6. Second step. We have here 4 over 2 minus 2 over 3. 4 over 2 will become 12 over 6. And 2 over 3 will become, will become 4 over 6. We have here the same den denominator 6. We write 6. And then we subtract 12 minus 4. So we obtain 8 over 6. Now, let's practice. Solve the, the new worksheet, then play the game mentioned on the agenda. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum.